Well, I've been asked to provide a more general discussion of the use of layers in landscape drawings. Here's an example of a relatively complex drawing with quite a number of layers in it. Let's click on the layer tool, the, the dialog box. And can you see as we scroll down, there are a lot of layers here. Um, the international standard suggests that layers starting with C, often CIV, are for civil structures. So saw cuts and set outs and shelter is civil and landscape um, elements are usually put on layers called L dash or L underscore. So you can see that layer names are used to separate out the zones, if you like, within the drawing. And some of the layers are turned off as we scroll up and down the column here. You can see that the irrigation scheme layer is turned off. It's the little light bulb is closed. You can also see in this dialog box that you can control the color of elements by layer by changing the color of the layer that it's on and setting the setting for the entity to by layer. We can control color. We can also control line weight in the same way. You can even have, I'll just turn off that warning. You can even have um, uh, non-printing layers. So there's an awful lot you can do with layers. I'll, draw your attention to the all switch here and the all use layers we've got the all switch on now which turns all the we can turn on every layer in the drawing by right clicking there and saying visibility on but more importantly all use layers if i click on that i get a shorter list still in this design quite a large list but we're now looking only at the layers that have got entities on them so there are lots and lots of layers in this drawing. Why would you use so many layers? Well, this is a design for an upgrade of uh, a, a recreation area, and there's various stages of implementing that design. There's going to be a demolition stage. So if we click on demolition here, you can see that uh, we're just seeing the zones in the design where demolition has to take place in and around the tennis courts and other areas. What's being done here is to close a road and dig up the road and establish some sporting fields. We use layers to control what you see in a floating viewport. If I select the edge of the floating viewport, I can repeat viewport layer. What that does, I was using this prior to running this little movie, but that enables me to turn layers in this viewport and only this viewport port on or off. So you can see I've got some layers in this viewport turned off. Text is turned off. C25, 35 text. Um, C construction for tennis courts and um, demolished hatch lines. You can see there are a lot curves and curve level. A lot of layers are turned off. Just want to indicate, let me unselect all. We're just trying to indicate to the construction team which bits they have to work with. So as we work through construction details, let me zoom extents there, civil details, zoom extents, landscape details, zoom extents, and, and the actual planting, we've got different layers active, in fact, in different floating viewports. So now in this particular layout, we can see um, the planting that's going to be applied here. So can you see that it's using layers that like transparent overlay sheets we're turning some on some off according to our need most of your design work of course is done in model space in this space here and so if you don't need the irrig the contour lines let's pick that contour line there it's on a layer called s underscore minor so you could go in the mini layer tool here and go down to s underscore minor okay lm there a major and minor i could turn off that one and scroll down and turn off the major one so now the contours have gone into my the drawing is a little simpler to work with similarly you might not want to irrigation layout showing so i hope that helps in understanding in a general sense why you would use layers in landscape design work